So in this video, we're going to understand how to create your own custom project browser views in your Rabbit. So as you can see that in this example, I have created one of, one of my project actually, it's fully customized and it's better for your projects when you have a lot of views and a lot of sheets are impact in the one, one uh, like a BIM model. It, it will be very, you know, catastrophic situation like uh, to understand the data properly, to manage the data systematically. This is the very essential to uh, know how actually you can customize a project browser settings in Revit. So let's go jump to the Revit. So here is one of the model actually I was working on it with one of my client and basically as you can see that on my left side I have the project browser setting here is showing up here the floor plan ceiling plan 3d views elevation etc so how we can customize like our own as you can see that here so first of all you have to go to the manage and you have to create a new project parameter so you have to click here and here as you can see that this is one of the one i have created so let me just remove it for now i'll ex explain you from the scratch again so suppose i want to create a new one so you'll be finding on this one only it will appear occupant there is nothing much here so for that we just have to go to here and add and then here we just need to name it views and then you need to make sure that these type of parameters should be in text and the group should be under identification data because when we're going to place that in identification data this will appear on the properties under the identification data only so we want to make sure that it should be identification data and rest everything is okay here and it should be an instance and then you have to go here and check this views and then you have to click ok so as you can know that it's showing would like to assign a value for parameter currently selected elements yeah you can just name it like ok and then click ok so you have to go here as you can see that here in the identification data the view is now selected if you select this one this will appear here so you just have to go here in the identification data with selecting this one the floor plan or you just open this floor plan and here in the views actually just need to uh, name it like a floor plan view zero one like that and let me add here okay that's fine apply so right now, the in the project browser, the, this one, the view identification that is already set, but we need to make sure that the Revit also should uh, communicate and understand like, okay, this is the project browser setting data and we want to assign these to this, uh, this settings here and it should appear here as well. So for that, actually you have to go on the view and then you have to go to the user interface then click here on the project organ browser uh, organization and I don't want to save it. I just click OK close and here I'll create a new browser organization. You can call as a new browser organization like that. OK, and then you have to click OK here. And it will ask you to basically, we don't need to do any filtering stuff right now here. We just need to go to the groups and you have to set this to the views, which we just created on that time. So that's okay, fine. And you have to click this one. If you click this one, it won't work. You have to click the new one, which you just have created. When you click apply, you will see that it's now assigned to this flow plan view. Uh, I think zero one, we just escape so you can apply. Yeah. So you can actually customize in such a way and everything rest will become like this way under the question mark. So now you can actually uh, select like uh, all the floor plans and you can go here and you can directly assign it here. It's already there. You can see now it's already here assigned to here. And this is how you can actually create for your ceiling plan for elevation views and etc. like that. Suppose you wanted to now create for the elevations so you can create just simply i'll just copy this one and i'll create by selecting this all of the elevation i'll simply paste it and i'll select like elevation plan vi and i'll put this zero two 
so it's fully customizable you can actually uh, customize on your own so like that you can see that now it's under the elevation plan view zero two so it's up to you like this is the best way to basically optimize your uh, bim data everything here in revit and that's the most proficient way while working in your projects